think uh, he has a lot of wisdom. Uh, he's been through a lot, a lot of adversity, especially coming in so as such a young player at, at 19, coming in the NHL and, and having to break a lineup in a really good good team. So I think he, he faced a lot of adversity and he brings that to me, just how, how to face adversity, how to overcome challenges. And especially for me, the big thing that he was for me as, as a child is he never pressured me to play hockey. He always told me to do something I enjoyed, whatever whatever it was. So I think that takes a lot of pressure off, off a child if, if, if you don't force him to do something. And, and then and then your passions can truly develop from there. I never watched him play yeah. as, as alive, um, but I, I spent all my youth watching his games on tapes. Uh, while I was doing the bike or, or on free times, I'd throw a, throw a cassette in and I'd, I'd, I'd just watch his shifts. And he played a lot like me. He had a really small stick. He was an offensive defenseman. So. Obviously, I, I try to pick up a lot from what he did to Dave. Dave. Dave's always a great person, and, and what's great about this program here is that they try to pick good individuals. So they, they always they don't look all only at the hockey player. They look for for complete individuals that are going to work at it and get better. And, and I think Dave is a true example for that because he he, he puts extra time into hockey. He's, he's passionate about it. So so when we, we looked at school together a little bit because it was the same timing and. Uh, when we visited Union, we both agreed that it was the best place for us to develop as, as hockey players, but, but also as human beings. It was exciting for sure to be associated with such a, such a huge accomplishment, but I think I think that I, I, I can say that I predicted that a lot. Uh, just knowing the coaching staff, how well they worked, how much effort they put into, into hockey here, I think I knew that in the end, whether it was last year or whether it'd be in, in, in five, ten years, I know this program's going to be successful just because they stick to the process and, and they have a good thing going here. Obviously it's big. It's big for confidence, especially coming in. Uh, it's a different level. It's, uh, it's a lot faster, a lot bigger, a lot more physical. So getting go to for a goal, they help really help your confidence a lot. I think I think that if you work hard, things are going to happen for you. I think, I think it's, it's when you come in as a freshman, especially me, I have to work a lot of my physical strength and, and get better defensively. So you have to look at what you have to and you, you, you have to worry about what you control. So you, you don't control whether you're in the lineup, you don't control what other people think. You have to, to worry about you improving, getting extra time, getting better, and, and then everything's gonna take care of itself afterwards. When, when you get a chance to, to go on the ice, you just work hard, you stick to your values, just stick to how you play, and then everything will take care of itself.